video finds you happy and healthy. So today I'm gonna to show you two methods on how I make my celery juice without a juicer. I cannot bring myself to buy a juicer yet. They're so expensive. So these two methods I'm gonna show you are really easy, really simple, and I've actually been using these methods for years. Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below for more healthy living videos. I upload one to two videos a week based on my busy I see nurse work schedule all about living healthy. For those of you who follow on Instagram, this is a repeat. I'm sorry, I talk about my celery juice a lot on Instagram, but I have not filmed an official YouTube video for it. So here we go. All right, so for both methods, you need a blender. Any blender will work. If you have a Vitamix or a Blendtec, that's even better, but really any blender will work. Of course, you need your celery. I get these from Costco. I like the Costco ones because they're just like the celery sticks and Costco chops off the leaves. The leaves on celery makes the celery juice more bitter. So I chop the leaves off ahead of time. So you can buy just regular celery at the grocery store, but you're gonna have to chop off the leaves. It's a little bit more work, a little bit more time consuming. So if you get these at Costco, it's, it's already done for you. And then you need some sort of bowl to squeeze your juice into. And then I like to store my celery juice in mason jars for future use. So the juice can store up to about a week in the fridge. The first method I'm gonna show you is my preferred method method using a nut bag. I've used this one quite a bit. It's wearing out. This is a brand new one. This is what it looks like when you first get it in the mail. So I got these off Amazon. I saved the little paper that it came with. It's called Ellie's Best Bigger Better Nut Milk Bag. I will put the Amazon link down below. I also saved this pamphlet too because it gives you like different recipes how to make almond milk, how to make cold brew coffee using the nut bag. So first thing you're gonna do, of course, is you're gonna wash off your celery and you're gonna chop it up. So I just roughly chopped them up. They don't have to be very long or very short, just kind of roughly chop them, so about like a few inches long. And then I throw them into the blender. Now, my Blendtec is not really that powerful. If you have a Vitamix, you could probably fill up the celery all the way up to the top of the blender, but I only like to do it maybe like three quarters of the way full, so I don't overload the blender. Plop it up on your blender. My Blendtec has a whole juice button on it, so I'm just gonna press that, but if you just have a regular blender, just blend it on high until it just gets pulpy. All right, so it should just look like this, just really like a pulpy mixture. And then you're just gonna start pouring the uh, celery pulp into the nut bag and then all you're gonna do is just squeeze you see how it's already making juice like super easily yeah this is all you do it's really really easy and then I just try to squeeze as hard as I can at the end getting out all the juice that I can and then you're gonna be left behind with just like the fiber part of the celery. So you should just be left over with this. Uh, you can compost it. I just throw it away because I don't have a composter yet. Or if you have recipes, you can look online. There. All right, you guys, and that's all there is to it. Like I said, I like to store my juice in mason jars. It's good for up to a week in the fridge. When I drink my celery juice in the morning, you can just drink it like this, but I tend to water it down. So I'll take a big mason jar like this and uh, I'll fill the celery juice just halfway and then I'll fill the rest up with water. All the celery juice, if you if you drink a full thing of celery juice, this is uh, 800 mLs, it's a lot of sugar. Um, and so I like to just do half of it and then the rest water and that way I get like 800 mLs, almost a full liter of fluid in me in the morning, which is really nice. All right, you guys, so second method is using a strainer, just like this one. I've already uh, cut up my celery and blended it. Okay, so you're gonna take your celery mixture and just pour it into the strainer. I think a big bowl would work better. I don't have a big bowl right now, but as you can see, it's already making the celery juice. And there you go. I think this method is a little bit more time consuming than the nut bag. I prefer using the nut bag instead of the strainer. But if you don't have a nut bag and don't have a juicer and you have a strainer, then go for it because it does work. All right, so same thing with the nut bag. You're just left with the fiber of the celery and you can do whatever you want with it. Look at that. We made almost three full jars of celery juice just with those two packages. Cleanup is super, super easy. Either method works really well, either with the nut bag or the strainer. Let me know if you try either way. Also, let me know if you know of a different way to make celery juice without a juicer. Sometimes 
sometimes I will add in some fresh ginger because ginger is really good for your immune system and I think it adds kind of like a little extra kick to it. So that'll be it for the video. I hope this video helped you make your celery juice for your morning routine. I am gonna be looking for a juicer in the future, so let me know which ones you guys like if you have juicers. Give this video a thumbs up because it really helps support my channel and always remember to be kind to yourself.